So I want to go over our group project again and go through the details, the due dates, and what's expected for this group project as we wrap up this semester. So as we recall our overview for this project, we were going to form our groups. So we've already done this. You've already formed your groups, turned them in via Blackboard assignment of four to five people a little over a month ago. So you guys have those groups and you've been working on your project. So within this project, you needed to pick a practical application. Again, this could have been from anything we did from the semester, similar to a project you've seen in the book, lectures, exams, but do not copy it, make up your own. So from there, what you want to do was you're creating your problem was to have a diagram illustrating the problem and then write out a problem statement that tells what's going on in the problem and provides whoever else is solving your problem with all the necessary information in order to solve that problem. Then what you're going to do is part two of the assignment that's due this week within module 12 is go through and solve your problem. So you're going to turn in the problem that you created and your solution to that problem there. And this is how we're going to be grading this. The rubric for this is going to be based upon did you clearly label what you're doing each step along the way as you provide us with your solution? Is everything neat and organized? Did you show all the general equations? Did you explain your thought process and how you're going to solve each step of the way and write that out specifically? Did you clearly define and label your chosen coordinate system? Did you draw out your free body diagrams if necessary? And did you use the correct units? So this project will be graded and count towards your group project section for your grade. So both the creation of the problem and the solution to the problem will be evaluated. And there's a rubric that's assigned with both the creation of the problem and as well as the solution to the problem on Blackboard. So deliverables. So again, this week within your module 12, you're going to turn in your problem and your solution, and those are going to be turned in through Blackboard through an assignment section. Then from there, the next step is going to be grading the other group's solution to your problem. So that will be within module 13. And you're going to grade them upon that 10 point grading scale that we've used for your homeworks and your exams. And last, we're going to go over the presentation for your solution. So this is where you're going to record a video going through your solution step by step and explaining, explaining your thought process, relating it back to the textbook, relating it back to governing equations, just like you see in my lecture videos each week. So break this group project down into a couple different steps. Step one, you've already completed this. You formed your group a little over a month ago, four to five people per group. You put in the name of your group and each of the group members. So you've already done this. This is completed. And hopefully you've been working hard on creating your problems and your solutions since you formed your group. So the second step was to create your problem. So that's what you're doing again that you're turning in this week here. You create the problem again, something similar to you've seen in the book, lectures and exams, but not one that you've copied, something you've made up on your own. So that'll be part of your grade is did you actually make this up on your own? It's not something that you took from somewhere else. Um, within this, you're going to have a diagram illustrating the problem like we see down below here. And then you're also going to write out a problem statement that tells what's going on in the problem and provides uh, the people solving, the other groups solving your problem with all the necessary information they need in order to come up with a solution. So this here is your problem statement. So again, you want to have not only the diagram you see over to the left, but you're also going to want to have a problem statement that covers all that information they need to solve the problem. So then we move on to our step three. This is where you would go through and actually solve out your problems. So again, this is another portion that's due this week within our module 12 is you're going through and solving out your problem here. Within this, these are all parts of the grading rubric that you're going to need to follow there. So each of these that I mentioned before, you clearly label what you're doing each step along the way. Everything's neat and organized, easy to follow. You're showing all the general equations that you're utilizing in your solution. You explain your thought process and how you're solving each step of the problem. You clearly define and label your chosen coordinate system and you draw any free body diagrams or diagrams you need along the way and you use the correct units. So here we can see within the solution right here you've clearly labeled okay these are all the givens here's my coordinate system here's relating back to the diagram that I've redrawn here's what I'm searching for and here's all the information with the correct units and labeling as well. From there, you'd be in your solution. I see I clearly labeled this is my solution. Now I talk about it each step along the way. I spell this out. First, I'm considering ball A. So ball A has this information right here. The ball A starts from rest. So because it starts from rest, I have this relationship here. I recall the kinematic relation. So here's my governing equation that I'm using to solve this. Then I say what I'm doing. I'm plugging in my known values into my governing equation. I take each step along the way as I'm going through the solution and break it down before I come up with the final solution that I'm looking for for this part of the problem. 
Then I do again, there's two parts of the problem. I do the same thing. I say what I'm doing, write down all my variables, all the given information I have, discuss exactly what I'm doing each way along the way, have my general equation there, plug in, go step by step, even as I reduce and simplify all the way down, and I've clearly highlighted or boxed in my final solution. It's nice, neat, easy to follow. Now, you don't have to type out your solution, but if you want to type out your solution, it's easier for you to get that nice and neat and organized for someone else to look at, then that's acceptable as well. So with our group project, we do have some associated milestones and due dates. So the first milestone we're going to look at is on Friday, February 18th. With this year, what you're going to be doing is turning in your design teams by submitting a list of the name of your team members along with the team name. Now, each of these teams should have four to five team members, and this will be submitted via Blackboard as an assignment. Now, your next milestone is on Wednesday, April 13th. For this milestone, you'll be submitting your group's problems and your solution to the problem that you created. Again, this will be submitted via a Blackboard assignment. Now, the third milestone is on Friday, April 22nd. With this milestone here, what you're going to be doing is turning in your group's solutions to the other group's problems. These will be submitted via Blackboard, and I will distribute them back to the group that created those problems that will lead us into that fourth milestone. This is where you will be uh, turning in those graded assignments. You're going to grade all the assignments for the other group's solution to your problem, turn those back into Blackboard, and again, as a Blackboard assignment submission. And the last milestone for the semester, this will be the presentation. This will be done in class. And this will be when you present with your group your problem as well as the solution to your problem, stepping us through each step of the way of your solution. So no reminder for these group projects. Well, this is going to be the evaluation criteria. So your problem and your solution you're handing it to me this week is worth 25% of that grade. So then you'll be grading the other group's solution to your problem on that same 10-point criteria that we've used before. And this is also going to count as 25% of the grade as well of how you do as graded by the other groups. And last, 50% of it is going to be based upon your presentation of your solution, that pre-recorded video that you're going to be submitting to Blackboard going through your solution to your problem. So now as you're grading the other group's solution to your problem, I want you to go through using the same grading criteria that has been used for the homeworks and exams that you've turned in this semester. So we're going to use the same 10-point scale. We give two points for the format. Did they provide their name, the name of their group, the givens, the finds, the appropriate coordinate system, any labels that are necessary? Is it neat? How easy is it for you to follow through their work? And then four points for the correct method, approach, governing equations. And last, two points, did they get the answer correct? So in summary for these group project teams and this group project, each team is responsible to create one problem as we described above. Along with that, they're also going to be creating a detailed solution to that the problem that they created as a team. The teams will then submit their problem and the solution to their problem via a Blackboard assignment. After these have been submitted, your team will then solve all of the other team's problems that the other teams have created. Now, each group will solve every other group's problems, and then what's going to happen is you're going to submit your work to the team that created the problem that will be graded by that group that created the problem. Now, submission for this can be done by scanning in your solution to the other team's problems and submitting it via a Blackboard assignment, which I will then redistribute to the groups that created the problem. So last step here is each team will submit the graded copy. So what you're going to do is grade the other team's solutions to your problem and submit that via a Blackboard assignment. 